Hello everyone, my name is Rosenbruder and welcome back to Someday Your Return. This game's got a little weird, which is good. Today we are going to follow the um the blue trail. For some reason that looks is meant to be the shorter way to the camp, which is over here somewhere. Um so it's up this way. So yeah, this has been quite weird. But there was something about it. it's supposed to be have some uh like I guess Czech Republic mythology. That like weird dream about Stella. It was so twisted. Last thing I really remember was that shadow and my smashed head. <sighs> Probably just some tramp trying to protect his den. That would explain almost everything. But why would he put my cell phone on the bench afterward? True. It can't possibly be a spooky guy. Hey Jesus, how you doing? Uh Yeah, so what's that Stella then? That girl? Her daughter's gone weird. Hey Jesus, how's it going? Oh. oh, it's one of these wrappers. Okay, okay. So, I'm guessing they're going to show us some kind of like crafting system soon. Because I think there was something about making potions. Hey Jesus, how's it going? Okay, so this seems to be very much a... Mountain hike. Steady. Probably shouldn't have stopped on the bridge. I thought it was going to break. Hey Jesus. So I wonder where we are. We're kind of like in around close to the middle I think of the of the map. Kind of through. Oh there's one of those. No I can just stand on that. Is that not a thing? Hello? Hey Jesus. I can hear voices. Hey Jesus. Well I don't know if it's coming from the um Yeah, so it seems to be coming from from there, so it's like Maybe there's something later on we can come and... Hey Jesus. Hey Jesus. Hey Jesus. What's these? Four marks? Huh. I always loved this place. I wonder if the chapel's yeah. still open. It's really beautiful inside. Nice. I forgot who was from this area. So I guess the the you in the title references me or Daniel, whatever his name is. Fresh snowflakes again. Somebody's trying to keep this place alive. Okay. Are they. Yeah, they were somewhere before. Oh. Clean. Noise. So yeah, well, I, I keep going off on different tangents, I think. So I think there's definitely like some kind of uh, potion making mechanic. Maybe when we get to the camp, that's kind of gonna. Oh, uh, how do I bring up my phone again? Tap. Later. Right, uh, uh, I, uh, you call me as soon as you can. Yeah, I'm gonna call her. Daniel? Any news? Yeah, I think I almost found her last night. And someone smashed my head. Oh my god. Where are you exactly? <laughs> In the woods. But don't worry, I'll get her today. She called me a couple of minutes ago. She... She called you? 
Are you sure it was her? I've been calling her constantly. Give me a break. It was her cell. And despite her crappy signal, she told me where to find her. She seems to be in trouble. Daniel, call the police. They'll know how to find her. No. But... No buts. Two things. First, nobody knows these woods better than I do. If I can't find her, nobody can. And second, it's what I do. I bring her back. You just stay out of this for once. I'm her mother. I deserve to know... I'll call you when I know anything. Spicy. Okay. So what have we got? Gandal. Huh. Back then they always kept it open for visitors. I guess nothing stays the same. I wonder how long it's been. Probably since he was a kid. Nature of the Cherubi? Uh Oh, Piggy, I love you. Um, yeah, I'm not going to read that right now. I'll read it when I edit the video, but it's basically just lore, I guess. Ah, oh, that's what I forgot to do. I was going to do the QR codes when I edited the last one. I didn't. Huh. A small portable stove. Oh, nice. It might come in handy. Okay. So I'll need that for the future, I guess. Making stuff. <laughs> Sounds like quite a story. I can imagine Ida's face if I did something like that to her. I can't believe how far you'd go to win a bet. You were so afraid I would make it up easily, make it easily up the trail with the pack, and you would have to make dinner that you had just, you just had to cheat. Bricks, you bastard! You put bricks in the pack. Oh. Don't bother calling me again. Oh, and I really hope you know your way around the woods because I took your compass, water, food, and flashlight. But no worries. Left you the cook stove, pot, and your damn bricks. Cheers. Okay. So I had no idea what they're talking about at the start there. But. That's a bit cheeky. Been bricks. Probably des They probably deserved it. Okay, so. The blue. Ah, there's a QR code. Saint Clement Monastery. Again, I'll read it later. There'll be a history QR code. I'm going to have to go back through my last video and try that. But that's kind of interesting if it's like real history of the area because it's not, not an area I'm familiar with. Like that area of Europe, don't see a lot of um, history about it. Ooh, do I hear a clock? <sighs> there seems to be a tunnel below. Sound is definitely coming from down there, but how is that possible? There seems to be a tunnel below. Okay. Sound is definitely coming from down there, but how is that possible? I can't do anything with that yet. This is uh, interesting. So I'm guessing I might have to come back once I have a key. So right now we're just going to get to the camp. I think. It's been a whole day. The night since we slept. Uh, oh, they don't keep the herb garden open anymore either. Uh, okay. The herb garden. Ah. Can I get a peek in there? Nope. I'm guessing that's where I get a lot of uh, ingredients from. Once I have it done, so we're now at the monastery. We just need to pop down the yellow one. New rock. Okay, easy enough. So, it should be less than a mile from here. There shouldn't be any surprises now. Okay. Oh hey. Oh, I like these. I was gonna call them gnomes, but I don't think they are. <laughs> um. Okay, so that's the trail. Let's poke my head in here. 
Oh yeah. Definitely gonna get lost if I just yeet into the woods. Oh. Let's have a little look at this totem pole. Interesting. Weird. Oh, we got another one of these. Yeah, there's definitely voices coming out of them. Shut up. <laughs> Dog making noises. Um, so I'm guessing I can maybe come back later and try that. So I'm going to try and remember where they are. It's so one by the bridge where we started. One on the blue trail. One by the totem pole. Alright, I'm going to remember that. Okay. I wonder what time is it? Do I? Ah, I can still... Okay. That makes a bit more sense. So the... it tracks which way you're facing. It doesn't always point north. That's the green path. Ah, of course, yellow one. Okay, leaf, summer camp. Oh, again with this crap. I can't cross the bridge like this. Oh. I better pull back. Or I'll fall down. Okay, and there's something. Maybe the old path around the spring still works. <laughs> if I'm still fit enough to climb. It's like that stick is doing something, putting that into there. So maybe later on I can get rid of that log. Um, so what does he mean by around the spring? It's kind of hard to work it out where I am. Like, do I go down that way or? or do I run back, look up at the map? Uh, it's a good question. Um, I think I've got time. I'll this spin should it. be the old path. Oh, okay. If I remember it right. Okay. So I have to go this way. Can't go have a look, but that's alright. Save me the trip. Now... This way? Yeah, gotta be this way. St. Gozard Spring. Wash my hands again. No little QR code or anything. So, oh, okay. Oh, there's a QR code there. Okay, so I've got to climb. Let's see if here. I can still do this. You can start climbing by clicking climb hotspot at the foot of the wall. Uh, some of the holes are wide enough to be switch hands. Reach the top by clicking the market edge. And down the same way. Fast climb. Something about that. Okay. Oh, okay. So I've got to, like, <laughs> manually. This is cool. Uh, so I've got to <laughs> switch hands. Oh, this is a cool little way to do it. I uh, can't. <laughs> yeah, I can do a big one there. This is cool. I made it. Hey, hey, who are you? Well, wait, I just want to ask if. Damn, she could know something about Stella. Okay, let's have a look at this. It would have been easier if the rope wasn't broken. This place is falling apart. It's way down there. Let's just have a little quick peek. Quick peek. We're not going too far. No, it's just moss. Just moss. Looking for any pink wrappers. Which... I don't see any. No climbing stuff. Okay. Definitely this is just moss. Oh. 
Uh, message. Loggia. Uh, you are claiming I'm back. What do you mean? I am still here. So I can't help you. I'm in the middle of something right now. Yeah. You can't mean this seriously. Just get your ass down here. I guess that's like my boss or... Oh, can I type a message? No, ignore. I guess that's like my boss or something. Uh, there's a workbench down here. Hold on. What? I think there's a fly in my room and the dog freaks out. Fly. So I think they've got this little symbol. So that means I should be able to use a tool. Which pry this open maybe? Is that a screw? No. I don't know what I'm looking for. Oh. Um, what's this? Nothing, I think. Oh, there we are. Oh, I maybe didn't need anything. This would make a great torch. Hopefully they're still dry. It's highly flammable. Got everything I need from here. All right. Congrats, Grizzly. Looks like you found my stash, so I'm leaving you my fire kit. Next time I'm going to make it much harder for you. By the way, here's a legend about Vykov Castle. There once lived a knight who had a beautiful daughter. They lived together in a small castle just on the hill. She was a spendthrift and very fain. One day, out of a clear blue sky, a thunderbolt struck and killed, pull, pulled her and the whole castle into the ground. Once every century, she rises to the surface and searches for a potential husband. Only a good and faithful man can save her with his pure love. It's actually funny because I heard a woman singing last night. I wasn't courageous enough to go investigate. I might have ended up as a willing, unwilling groom. Okay, cool. Conceptual items. Sometimes Daniel knows what to do but has to assemble his idea from multiple items. You can insert items from your inventory into their correct place as shown. Okay, okay, so I know that I can make an oven. I've got to put them in the right spots. Oh, it's, oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. Cooler way of doing it. Now I can heat up water without risking a forest fire. If I'd known I'd awesome. be here this long, I'd have brought my camping gear. Um, so we can make a torch with this, but I don't think I have everything I need for it. I need something sharper. A knife. This could do the trick. Okay. Um, but I think I need like a stick or something. So what can I do with this? And why is uh, why is my my toolkit here? And now I have the toolkit, so it wasn't like a dream or something. I wonder why everything went so wrong with her, or with us. Okay, so that's Ida. That's Stella. So Stella's blonde. So he's a black-haired girl then. I wonder why everything went so wrong with her, or with us. It's nothing to do with the. I'll come back to that. It's nothing to do with this completion kit. That's a weird spot to have it. So what do you think? Is the girl or that woman we just saw run off? Is she the one that's going to try and make us her groom? Hmm. Huh. Looks like someone left instructions here. If I find that spot, I could get some supplies. Nice to see people being nice to each other for a change. Is it this could be of just what, I've, just what I found, I think, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, mushroom tree going up to the stones, okay. Stones with the moss on it. Yeah, so I found that. That means that there's the, the one we found in the first episode that has something that I could do. Didn't you run that way? Why 
Why did you just run in there? Okay, so I guess that's like a hint. Now we need the torch. So I need like a stick or something. This is where she, you little bastards. Last time one bit me, I got a headache for two days. Looks like they really own this place. Am I gonna go in? Can I? Yeah. Okay, so I haven't got anything to do. Spider cave. I'm going inside without a torch, even then I should be careful. So I need something else for the torch, right? No, we have a oh, let's here. burn these little suckers. Ah, uh, that was the that clue. Okay. So I know at some point I'm gonna have to go back around to that starting area and find the um and unless I've like failed. You know what I mean? The cloth's too wet to catch fire. Alright. What am I missing here? What will dry out. Ah. Oh. That and then Now we're talking. Let's that. see who's the boss. Yeah, I have the fire. Haha. Haha. -ha. Yes. Yes. We'll burn you little assholes. Yes. Burn them all. Don't like spiders. How could she have squeezed through here, especially with all the spiders around? I'm pretty sure she. I thought she ran up up the uh, the cliff face there, but maybe not. <gasps> ah. What the fuck? The fuck was that? Deer just exploded. Gunk all over me. There's no way they get hunted by themselves. I have to be really careful. If one of these falls on me, I'm gone. Oh. Oh, they're like killing all the deer. Okay, so I can't like kill all the spiders then. I can kill these ones. And these ones, right? Yeah. Good. That's what you get. Okay, so I gotta avoid the carcasses though. And like my torch can just set it on fire, like if I get too close as well. Uh, what on earth was that? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Ooh. Got some like Shelob stuff going on. Oh no. Can you not? How about you don't do the giant spiders? Fuck me. Okay. Got a boy there, got a boy there. So I've got to like crawl through. Ah. Did I just... no. Okay. I can't put it out without him falling on me. So maybe I can come back later and... Or something I can maybe like set on fire and then push back down there. Maybe. Let <laughs> me <Maybe> jump. <laughs> but I have the fire. Hopefully. Okay, cut this. Yeah, there's no way the lady came through here. She's got to be like some kind of ghosty, ghosty ghoulie. Fuck, didn't see that until it was too late. Oh, so I think I should be able to get through that other one. I'm pretty sure. But 
Oh shit. Oh. Get away from me. I gotta get down fast before they come for me. I don't want to end up like the deer. You muppet. <coughs> Where's my torch? Oh dude, can you not? Okay, so what I should. What the hell? Should have been able to go through that other one first. Man, it's disappointing. What the fuck's going on now? <sighs> we are in the spook zone. Yeah, I know, right? What the hell's going on with these dudes? One of those games where I don't know if I'm going to be able to come back. Run, Daniel. Oh, what? C5 Faux Farm, I guess. Say what? Oh, so it's like throwing chunks of the bunker at me. Oh, it's raining? It's raining bunker? from so it was throwing stuff at us right that's what it's implying it's not just raining rocks and from the sky what did I pick up radio I can do stuff with it oh hey yeah, so there's no way I'm going to get all of these in the game. <laughs> I don't know if it's like one of those... Like... I remember this candle path. I must be really close to the camp. Nice to see they're keeping the old traditions. Oh, I'm so confused. I guess... Like jumping down, I suddenly went into the night time. Or are they trying to imply that. I still hope I'll just wake up from this nightmare. The sun will be shining through the windows, and I'll be telling Stella about my stupid dream. Well, I would if she decided to visit me. Oh. Hmm. Okay, so I'm guessing this is just the um the path. The yellow one and I just randomly jump forward I don't know yeah because the transition from the weird bunker thing was it wasn't like a big thing it was like I oh. wonder why everything went so wrong with her or well, with us I, mean, I wouldn't really be thinking about that stuff now I'd be more thinking about hey why the fuck is it night time? With my luck, it'll be locked. No way. Alright, cool. Looks like the poachers are back. I wonder what they trap. Or was I just in the cave for that long? He doesn't seem too surprised about it being night time. Is that the bunker again? Looks like we've got a long way to go with the with the path yet, so we'll see how we go.
Oh, oh this way. I thought I was saying there was something over there. <coughs> like, I feel like I'm back where I was. Another fallen bridge. Our bridges are famous for that. Impossible! I can't yeah. be back here. Please, just let this be some kind of sick prank. Yeah, so I'm okay. So I am back. So this place is like a pretty big deal, I guess. Ooh. Is there a little secret path here? <laughs> Can't hide from me. But yeah. Well, now many of those I've missed already. We'll see how we go. But so we're back, like. There was this, oh yeah, we saw that lady on the bridge With all the candles, it's clear that somebody wants me inside tonight. At this point, I have no choice. I mean, you do have a choice. You can just stand out here. I guess we gotta go do the spookening. It's not really a shortcut when... Now, did I have a torch? Oof. Chugging a little bit there. Which is strange, because we are inside. Okay, so if we played Estella on the first bit, right? Does that mean she was down here somewhere? What was that? Some little music note icon came up on my screen. A spooky doll. Some drip drops. So, another collectible, I guess. Maybe the uh, soundtrack. Could be cool. I don't know if you can see that stuttering a bit. Probably can. I don't want to be back here. I don't want to go down. But somebody wants me here. So I don't know if I have my torches, right? I don't have my flame torch, I don't have my this regular hallway. torch. It wasn't here last night. Mm. I mean, uh, black goop. Oh, it could just be water. Are we doing? Oh. All right. Someone is leading me. Guess I'll soon discover why. So I heard a clock back there. I think maybe it's the same one from the. Uh, chapel I mean oh, I can't actually sprint okay so something's about to happen come on you're gonna hit me with a jump scare that guy gonna come back oh, I thought there was a blinking light at the end of this Big. Okay. So it's a tree guy. What the hell? I'm going to 
Oh. That's fast. Okay. So we saw this with the in the opening. Ah. Oh. We did like. Like not to this extent. But it's just that uh, rumbly stuff. I must get out of here. I just get hit in the face. Damn. Ooh. The blood. I'm losing blood. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay, I can't sprint anymore. We got some tentacle stuff. Spinning. Oh, come on. Uh -huh. That's the big spider boy from from the cave. Uh, almost, almost there. I've got to get out of here. Where am I? What? Am I inside the chapel? I can't remember. How did I get in here? Shit. My head. Oh. It's hard to see through all this blood. First I should do something about it. Who, who's there? That's all the time I have for this episode. <laughs> you have to wait and see. That that was really good. They've got a lot of like mechanics and things that I'm really liking the look of, and it's still a bit weird. I should still probably off. stop the bleeding first. Stop pressing buttons. We're finishing the episode. You have to join me for the next one. I really hope you've enjoyed watching this one. Super weird. So I guess like we did just spend all that time in the cave, like spend a whole day somehow, going from uh, walk through the woods and then in the cave it was night. Okay, like we're not getting long periods, I guess. So it's like um, not entirely clear. So I'm guessing. That was a real and not a nightmare like I thought originally. We'll see how we go. We'll probably get more explanations soon. I hope you've enjoyed watching. This has been Sunday Your Return. I have been Rosenbruder and I hope you have a wonderful night.